This is a continuation of the projective geometry drawing of the ellipse, and I have two more rotations to go. And I need to make sure every point has had its opportunity, all five points, to be uh, one of the five. So I'm going to rotate again, and let's see here. I'm going to erase the ones that had previously been L1 and L2. As well as S1 and S2. And M. Because with this next rotation, I have to make sure that uh, those characteristics are given to uh, the next set of points and lines. So let me see here. If I go like this, and I just did that one, I'm going to go. I haven't done this one yet, where line M is is the line connecting this point and that point. I have to create that one. So I'm going to create my line M. It's the bottom two right there. I'm going to label that line M. S1 is the one on the left. S2 is the one on the right, and L1 is this one right here. That line is already there because it was you, it was constructed in a different part of the drawing. And line L2 is going to be, I'm going to draw it on pen, connecting these two points right here. this point and that point. There's my L2. Well, I don't want to draw that in pen, I want to draw it in pencil so I can erase it. All right, so beginning at point S1, draw a line that goes through line M. There's S1. I drew my first line that goes through line M. It's this one. Line M is this line right here. I'm going to label it over there too. Okay, so this is line M right here. Just drew my first line that went through that point. Um, th sorry, my first line that went through line M. I'm going to draw a line between where it connects with line M and and with point S2. That's going to be the next line I draw. Same process. And where that crosses over, and this one's get it gets tricky here, where it crosses over line L2 is right there. And I need to connect this point and that point. I'm just going to repeat this. Point S1, next line, Goes through line M, pick the point, connect it to point S2. And then where, wow, let's see, where that line, which is this one right here, crosses L2, which is right, oh boy, this is tough, but I can do it. And you can do it too. Right about there. I connect this one with the original one I drew. Continue on. Starting at point S1. Crossing over to line M. Draw a line from that point of intersection right here to point S2. Where that crosses, 
line L2, which is right here. Draw a line from there to that intersection right there. Probably get at least one more, maybe just one more. Starting point S1, go through line M. Where it hits line M, connect to point S2. Where that crosses line L2, which is right there, connect that to the original point, which is up here. Not the original point, but the original point of intersection of that first line with line L1. And I can get one more. I'm going to do one more. Starting at point S2. I'm sorry, S1. Draw a line that goes through line M again. One more. Before I rotate for the last time. Where that intersects line M. Connect it to point S2. And then where that crosses line L2, connect it to the original point where it crosses, uh, where the line from line S1 crosses line L1, which is right here. And I'm done with that rotation. You can see the ellipse is almost there. I, that's the one part that has to get resolved is that one right there. So I got, got to make sure I rotate it correctly so I can do the fifth uh, construction. I'm going to erase all my labels. It's no longer going to be line M, nor is that one. That's no longer going to be point S2. That's no longer going to be line L1. That's no longer going to be point S1. And that's no longer going to be line L2. <sighs> OK, let me see what I can find here. Which is my remaining line M? I think it's going to be, let's see. One haven't I done? That one. Okay, I found it. The one I haven't done has this as point S1 because I'm not seeing the lines coming out of this one crossing what's going to be my line M, which is going to be this one down here. This is now my line M. And notice. A lot of my lines are already drawn because they're drawn for other parts of the uh, process. So in some, it, towards the end, you're just going to be finding the lines that you need in most cases. <clears throat> for instance, line L1, <clears throat> and I'll do this line L1 and L2 in pen right now. Line L1 is here. Line L2 is here. S1 is right here. S2 is there. Let me begin again. Line through point S1 that hits line M. Where it hits line M, I connect it to point S2. Where that line that I just drew crosses line L2. Wow. Uh, I might have to find it like this. It's right there. Connect that with where the original line that I drew for this uh, circuit hits line L1, which is right here. T1, 
continuing, beginning at point S1, draw the line that goes through line M. I should have labeled these L2 and L1. All right, there's the, this is the point here where that first line I drew crosses line M. Connect that point to point S2. Where that crosses L2, which is right there. Connect that to the original intersection of the first line I just drew. Line L1. Continuing, point S1, draw a line from there to line M, where it intersects line M, connect that point to point S2, where that intersects line L2, I'll put my pencil right there while it's on, connect that point to the original intersection of the line from line S1, and where that crosses line L1. A couple more, starting at point S1. Draw a line from point S1 down through line M. Where that uh, line crosses line M, connect it to point S2. Where that crosses line L2, I'll leave my pencil there and connect it to the original line where it intersects line L1. I might be able to get one more in here, which will make my lips even a little bit less jaggedy, but it's not bad. I can make some suggestions as to how I could have made this better. Start with uh, the line from S1, it goes down and hits line M. Where it hits line M, connect it to point S2. Where that intersects line L2, connect that with the original line leaving point S1. There we go. That's probably about as good as I'm going to do. That's not bad. What would have made it better, perhaps, is if I had a sharper pencil. The lines would have been finer. I could have defined it even better. But uh, this is definitely uh, workable. You can see the ellipse there. And those of you who have a finer point and can get more lines in could have made an even smoother ellipse than what I was able to create in this case. But here's the hexagon. And here, or I'm sorry, not the hexagon, the pentagon. It's a five-sided figure. And here's the projected ellipse that's in the center of it. And this is the emergent property of this projective geometry drawing.